Hey there, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna be talking about my current favorites from the last couple of months, and I'm just gonna hop right into talking about some skincare skincare loves that I have had. I have recently done an evening skincare routine video. So I'll just kind of blitz past the things that were in the evening video because I, I kind of talk a little bit more in depth in that video. But I have just really loved the January Labs Moisture Renew Mask. This has just really been saving my skin. The weather has been all over the place. It has just been raining like crazy on and off for weeks. And then it's also been like super cold and then it'll get temperate. And this has just been a really gentle, reparative little skin savior that I apparently throw at myself uh, that I have been throwing on my face at night. Fantastic moisturizing mask. One of my all-time favorite moisturizing masks, I actually was looking at my little mask collection. Um, that I, well, it's not little. I'll eventually do some sort of like mask video. I'm trying to decide if I should break it up by type or by favorites or just like the whole collection, which would just be way too excessively long of a video and uh, halfway through editing it, I would give up. And then the other product that is in this video that was in my evening skincare video is the African Botanics Resurrection Cell Recovery Serum. It just does a lot. It's one of those anti-aging serums that's, yeah, supposed to help with uh, cell recovery, um, collagen boosting, firming, help, you know, with antioxidants and decolorization, just like the general big, all of the things that you can think of that would be like for anti-aging and it helps with, and it has been really nice. Retinol mixture of ingredients. Very, very terrible description I just gave, but I gave more of a description of it in that video, so I'll link that. And then two products that I will definitely have in my morning time skincare routine when I ever get to it. This is a moisturizer that I actually hauled several months back, and this is the High Five Cannabis Facial Moisturizer with 20% cannabis sativa seed oil. This has been something I've been using. Sometimes I'll use it at night, but I've mainly used it in the morning, and it's been a really lovely moisturizer. It has that kind of like lightweight kind of whipped texture that I really like very similar to the pharmacy honey honey drop moisturizer and the herbivore moisturizer it's been a very like kind of common texture I've been seeing in moisturizers lately very lightweight you can just like really spread it out very plumping and this is like that but it still has almost like a little bit thicker so i need even less than those other moisturizers that i mentioned but it still just like really sinks into the skin and gives really a plump plump skin it's been a really nice moisturizer to uh use before makeup but because it's a touch thicker it's been really good for the winter months and then this is a face mist that is from i think it's sila this is a brand that i discovered at the andy beauty expo which I made, a, I made a video about that that has just been sitting unfinished, an unfinished edit for like a month and a half for a very long time now. I just don't care for the video, but I'll get it out eventually, even though it'll be very like old news by the time I get it out. But this was a brand that I got, uh, got discovered from that they're a brand from Canada and they seem to center around using a lot of ingredients that are found in Canada and this has snow algae in it I've been actually using it in my makeup routine more than my skincare routine it has been really nice to kind of like work in while like I'll put it on to kind of help with my foundation hydrate it so yeah I really like this and beautiful beautiful packaging on on this um, mist, it's really, really pretty. So curious to try other things from that brand down the line. And then this isn't, I guess, really skincare, but uh, I guess lip care. This is the Vapor Organic Lip Conditioner. My lips have been put through the ringer lately. I went to Michigan a couple weeks back for a, a family event 
And while I was there, it was, you know, very cold. And then I also got food poisoning. Yeah, I've had a really bad track record with food poisoning, but whenever I get food poisoning, it ends up like destroying my lips. So this was very helpful in that recovery process as well as just winter lip care. TV wise, I have actually binge watched quite a lot of shows this past couple of months. Some standouts that I really loved, uh, Russian Doll was really, really enjoyable. That was such a fun, fun show. Just a really good mind mess and uh, very enjoyable. So if you haven't been watched that, that is totally worth, worth, worth the time spent. And then another show that just, I actually watched it a second time with my husband because I watched it the first time on my own and I was like, babe, you have to see this show. And uh, it's sex education and it is so stinking good. It's just so wonderfully nuanced and sensitive while also being funny. Just incredibly well directed, fantastically cast. It touches on a lot of really touchy, sensitive subjects with such with such grace and understanding. Also, the soundtrack on it has been amazing. It's Ezra, I think Furman. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I can just see it in my brain. It has a lot of really great like old throwback, like punky poppy kind of songs as well as that Ezra guy his his covers and original music is in it are fantastic so um really worth a listen and a watch and then there's been this youtube channel that i've actually been obsessed with for months and it's a video essay channel called please rewind no, Be Kind Rewind. It's this woman and she just dives deep into any given year at the Oscars. Mainly a lot of the stuff she has dissected has been like older Oscar wins, but she goes into the different nominees and it's always the best actress category. So she goes in and she talks about all of the nominees, their careers beforehand, and then what was like the social and political landscape of the time and how that impacted who ended up winning the Oscar that year. And if you like deconstruction and you're a film nerd, <laughs> it's really worth checking out. Love, I love a little, a little good uh, video essay. Anyways, thought I would plug that because it is a very entertaining YouTube channel if you're into that kind of stuff. And makeup wise, I have been having so much fun with eyeshadow. I had that whole video kind of dedicated to my love doing a look with the Milani holographic eye toppers. I've been wearing all three of these non-stop in some look or another since I picked them up. I believe I used, what is it? This is Luster Light is the one that I used in a video, Get Ready With Me. And today I am wearing Starlight mixed with uh, a palette that I'm gonna talk about and then I've worn actually quite a bit is Prismatic Light, which is this beautiful holographic multi-dimensional blue. And this blue, this kind of color, of vibrant blue is so in right now. I've been seeing so many looks of this type coming out like Instagram and on YouTube and stuff. I'm really curious about that Smith & Colt brand, the, the nail polish brand. They came out with a whole makeup line and their blue one seems to be like the star of, the, of their marketing, but just a very popular color right now I've been seeing in terms of brands, but Anyways, I love these. I've been having so much fun with eyeshadow, with color and glitter. So I am wearing today the uh, Starlight eyeshadow mixed in with the NARS Ignited palette. Just love this. Love this palette. Really just like came out and like disappeared. <laughs> uh, I haven't really, you know, no one's really talking about it, but I just absolutely love this. I know sparkle, like color and sparkle are kind of very on trend right now for this year. So many brands are coming out with their kind of versions of pops of color as well as sparkly things. And this palette has been 
so fun to play with. I am wearing a huge mix of the shadows. I uh, have mainly been wearing these purple ones are the ones that I, I think I talked about in another video, but I'm wearing those right now actually with a mix in of the red and then these two in the inner corner as well as this mixed in. So they kind of like all flow together and just uh, are really, really beautiful. And then lastly for eyeshadow, this is the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. Never tried anything from Huda Beauty, but I got this as a gift and I think this is so beautiful. All of the colors are actually 10 times brighter than they look like in the palette. I thought this was gonna be more like dusty and these ones more like brown. Just generally, I thought all of these shades were gonna be more muted, but they're actually very, very, very vibrant. So I, I've mixed them here and there like with more done, complexed eyeshadow looks, but I've mainly been wearing like as a one eyeshadow, like this color right here. Well, a lot of these more like vibrant shades I have been wearing is just like a one eyeshadow look and yeah, it's just been a really, really fun way to, to wear quite a bit uh, of vibrant color, really, really quite pretty. And then I have really been loving this blush from Emily Corden. This is in Madison Queen. When I talked about these lip, well, I guess they're lip and cheek color, so not just a blush, but when I talked about these in a video, several videos back, everybody was really commenting on Madison Queen, and this has definitely been my most favorite out of all of those. It's been a blush I've been wearing a lot. Great kind of pop of something if I'm doing something more simple on the eyes. It's been really beautiful on, on the cheeks. And then um, wearing right now, this is Kosa's Stardust. It's one of their nudes, but this color just really seems to morph depending on the look. So I found it very adaptable. I'm wearing it right now and it really looks quite pink, almost like a peachy pink, but other times I've worn it and it's looked more like rose toned. So been a very, very everyday kind of rotation lip color for me. And then lastly, in terms, I guess well, makeup, I guess nail polish, uh, is considered makeup, but I've been really into matte nails these last couple of months. I saw some photo when I was like killing time on Pinterest where somebody had like matte gray toned uh, polish on and I was like, oh, I love the way that looks. And I had a matte top coat from China Glaze that I actually got a couple of years back and I pulled it out and I was using it quite frequently a couple of times that I painted my nails, but I went and did a little research to find out like what's the best matte top coat and the SC one was the one that I saw the best reviews on and it's definitely more matte than a chi than the China Glaze one. So I have it on right now on this hand. I intended on sitting down and filming this a couple days ago and then I, I didn't get to it. So my fingernails have since chipped since I, uh, I had to do quite some rough cleaning. So uh, uh, not, the, not the best looking, but I did the matte on this hand and it's not matte on this hand to kind of like see the difference. But I just like the kind of interesting look that it gives and I've been doing my nails in different greens and grays the last month. So right now I'm wearing the Chanel uh, I think it's Chanel 608 polish with it on, but I also have worn it with the green MV polish that I have from Orbe. And then the other two combinations I've worn it with have been SC Serene Slate and Sunday Studios number 50. So green and gray have been the sort of consistent colors I've worn. I think I painted it purple, my nails purple once, and I was like, this is a little bit too loud for me. But anyways, that's um, that's been all of my favorites. I don't really have any clothing favorites to talk about because I just did a clothing haul. And of course, all of the things that um, I uh, got and loved from the haul are my, my loves. But I guess specifically that Madewell necklace that I mentioned in that video, I'm wearing it right now and it was like a two, two uh, combo layered necklace. And the part that's this like, thick square 
is I have just been wearing this non-stop. I've been wearing it with the other necklace it came with on its own. Today I have it layered with like an old necklace that I have. I've just really loved it and I've been wearing it constantly. So those are all of my favorites. I hope you uh, have had a, a good, good couple of months full of favorites and um, uh, yeah guys, <laughs> that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did like, subscribe, etc. And I'll talk to you in the next one.